Hi everyone, we're here once again at the Brussels Farmers Market and right now I'm speaking to Donna, am I correct? Yes. Yes, and Donna obviously has a lot of time on her hands and does a lot of baking. Um, but she's also an entrepreneur, right? Yes. And Donna, just how many hours do you spend baking? 16 hours. Some days, yeah. Six, Sometimes. Six, did I get that right? 16 hours? <laughs> Oh yeah, sometimes I go to bed at midnight. It's terrible. <laughs> and it just gets busier in the summer. So are these are all ha uh, baked at home? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. I have a registered kitchen. I yep. see. Now you mentioned a registered kitchen. My wife was talking about that. What exactly does that mean? The health board comes in and checks everything out, makes sure everything's all right. And you keep your stuff separate from your own food. And, and when you say make sure everything's all right, what sort of things are they looking for? Uh, that everything's packaged nice and make sure you have your cl uh, clean kitchen and stuff like that. And that you have soap there to wash and all that stuff. Yeah. So what actual products do you have? I have carrot cake. I have all kinds of pies, tarts, date squares. And... When I get time, sometimes I make brownies. <laughs> I didn't have any today, though. <laughs> well, they certainly look appetizing, and you seem to have some sort of... Uh, what is this in the bottles? That's preserves. I got zucchini relish, chili sauce, beets, and pickled eggs. For today, anyways. <laughs> and is that pickled eggs? Mm-hmm. That's really interesting, Donna. You certainly have a good variety. Back of my van with the yeah, this is this is what you sell out the back of your van, right? Yes. <laughs> it's not hot, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you know, usually when you get something out the back of a van, it can be hot, right? Oh, I guess. <laughs> not mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we believe you. Okay. Uh, what, so what sort of things are in here? Uh, Watkins has everything from spices to cleaning products. And then there's some Raleigh stuff. They have vanilla and some puddings but uh, they're more into the energy drinks and diet stuff. So uh, you're an agent for Watkins is that the idea and are they a Canadian company? Uh, I get some of my stuff from Winnipeg and some of the stuff comes from Wisconsin US. Yeah. So I can see why you're so busy so you're busy baking at home and then you're also selling this. Do you have those sort of party things? Uh, no. I guess if they wanted one, I could do one, but uh, no, I usually just go to the farmer's markets and things like that. So basically you move around the different farmer's markets? Yeah, I do. I do Stratford in the summer. Well, and uh, I do Godridge on Sundays, so yeah. Do you have a, a storefront at all? Uh, people come to the door sometimes and, or else they'll phone and order stuff and then I'll have it ready for them. Okay, so if someone wanted to get something from you, how would they contact you? I have cards that I usually hand out. Can you give me a telephone number or an email? Or? Name and phone numbers on my items. And what is your phone number? 519-348-9586. Uh, okay, and do you have a website? No. <laughs> I don't. You don't have a website? Wow. I don't have a computer. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know I'm old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. No, that's wonderful. You certainly have a big selection here, that's for sure. Now, what on earth got you into this going around the farmers markets and baking and so forth? Meeting people. I like to meet people. Mm -hmm. Yep, talk to them. And did you just sort of fall into it in the sense of you happened to be baking and people wanted to buy your product or did you deliberately go out and well, actually i started with the watkins and the raleigh's and then people don't bake so much anymore they're they like to go out and buy it rather than make it so i thought well i gotta do what the people want so i thought oh, i can bake i'll do that <laughs> so you find a niche and you wanted to fill it right well, they got the vanilla, the Watkins vanilla and stuff, and I use that in my baking and the cinnamon and stuff like that. Yep, that way people get to know what it tastes like. 
So if someone was thinking of doing something like this, how would they go about it? I mean, how would they go about, for example, registering their kitchen? Or what would you suggest they do? What pitfalls should they try to avoid? Just call the, oh, what do you call it? The health unit. And they'll send somebody out and they'll give you all the information you need. So they'll provide you with the information you need to do what you're doing? Yep. Well, that's really interesting, Donna. Thank you very much indeed. Was there anything else you'd like to tell us today? I really can't think of anything. <laughs> okay, well, it was really nice talking to you, Donna. Um, if I wasn't so fat, I would be very, very <laughs> tempted. Um, but uh, thank you again, and you have a wonderful day today, and I'm sure you'll sell lots of your product. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Turn around, let's go. The preceding program was brought to you by The Town Rag at townrag.ca, Whiteman TV, and Bruce Telecom.